Hi students. So we are discussing eight unit that is the production of food from plants. In last class we discussed so many definitions like what is crop, what is agriculture, what is uh, long term crops, what is short term crops, what is current season, rabi season. Long night duration plants, short night duration plants, like a neutral plants. In today class, we are going to discuss production of paddy. Production of paddy. It's a activity. Production of about this production of paddy. I will write the table and you have to get the information. Paddy is growing season. Paddy growing season. In which season actually the paddy will grow? So what is the season paddy will grow? Paddy production for hectare. Paddy production for per hectare. One hectare is good. Two point four acres. One hectare is equal to 2.4 acres. So then, quality of seeds. What is the quality of seeds? How can we know quality of seeds? Wise and right. So, this is the activity. You have to get the information about this activity. Paddy growing season. In which season paddy will grow? Like both in Ravi season and Kharif seasons. Like Kharif season and Ravi season. Kharif season is nothing but it's a rainy season. Plenty of water will be there. If, if plenty of water is there, the paddy can grow very healthy. You can see the quality of seeds. In rubby seasons, in rubby seasons also the paddy will grow. But paddy always need plenty of water. Sufficient water should be required for the growing of paddy. If sufficient water is not there, can paddy grow? No. So, this is the information you have to get. So, the paddy growing season, both season, Kharif season and Rabi seasons. In summer season also, in summer also, some people they will start growing the paddy. Where they have wells, where they have plenty of waters, more wells, such type of people they will grow for the three crops per year. Three crops per year. So, the paddy production per hectares. So, how much paddy is growing in Kharif season? How much paddy production we can see in Harbi seasons? Quality of seeds is good in Kharif season or Harbi seasons? Weight of seeds is more weight in Kharif season or Harbi seasons? You have to do this activity. You have to collect the information about this.
actually this pradi is everybody want rice from kashmir to kanyakumari like tamil nadu from or like uh, gujarat to arunachal pradesh around 29 states in our country most of the people they will depend on the rice for the food that's why this rice is called as a global grain global grain rice is called as global grain so in every states almost all the states rajasthan gujarat to arunachal pradesh kerala tamil nadu to jammu kashmir everywhere you can see paddy grows so paddy grows since uh, very uh, minus degree centigrade in high degree centigrade also paddy can grow so there are different types of varieties of around 10000 different varieties of rice is there but we don't know at least we know dozen of them there are 10 or 20 types varieties of rice we know but there are in our india there are 10000 different types of varieties of rice is there so so actually this rice growing started that like mesothelic period only so mesothelic period when before 9000 bc to 8000 bc before christ before now we are in 2020 years 2020 plus 9000 2029 years back this cultivation cultivation of rice was started and we so thick period we also saw this rice in harappan civilization harappan civilization this rice cultivation already we saw in harappan civilization 2300 bc every day we can see that's why this rice is called as a global grain before christ came into this world the cultivation of rice already started in mesothelic period and harappan civilizations not only in india we can see this rice in china we can see this rice in australia usa japan we can see in like israel israel you can see in different countries also they will cultivate the rice that's why this rice is called as a global grain there are some comparison is there how much paddy is growing in a different area in a different country what is the production of the paddy in india in china and japan how the technology has increased in other countries but we are still in developing countries like some countries we can see and we can compare this land under rice cultivation land under rice cultivation million hectare we know the one hectare is called 2.4 acres of land is called as one hectare total production total production million metric tons area for 
area uh, is the architecture. Is the architecture. We can compare three countries here. First one is India. Second one is China. In India, land under rice cultivation 40 million hectares. We have under cultivation of land in India 40 million hectares. 40 million hectares. One hectare is called 2.4 hectares. But in China, there are 37 million hectares of under cultivation of land is there. Actually, we are second in population. China is the first, first populations in the world. Japan, Japan populations, it's not more than our states. It's less than our states. So, but the Japan is a very small country we can see in the world now. It's very small countries. Their population is very less than our state populations. But what is the land and rice cultivations million hectare in Japan is just 2.5 million hectares. 2.5 million hectares. Compared to India and Japan, it's very very small land is there and rice cultivation is million hectares, just 2.5 hectares of lands, hectares of land. But come to the total production, million metric tons, million metric tons. In India, around 79 million metric tons of production is there. In 40 million hectares of land, 79 million metric tons of production is there. But come to the China, so 130 million metric tons of production. 130 million metric tons of production. But come to the Japan, 16 million metric tons of productions 16 million metric productions come to the production for area production for area kg for hectares how much kg are growing in one hectare one hectare or how much kg rice is growing in a particular area or acres are Hectares. Come to India, 1975 kg for hectare. In one hectare, one hectare is still not too much, uh, 2.4 acres. In one acres of lands, how much rice is cultivate, cultivating us growing? How much production we can see in India? around 1975 kg per hectare, kg for 2.4 hectares of lands. But come to the China, 3534, 3534. In same land, in one hectare of land, China production, rice production is 3,534 3,534 It's almost double production of India It's almost double production of India But come to the Japan So they have very less land, cultivation land Production is also very less But in that one hectare of land China production is 6,250 6,250 kg for hectare Can you imagine it? Can you imagine it? It's 
more than double, triple productions they are getting when compared to the India production. There is 1,975, where is 6,250 kg per hectare. This is the difference between the other other countries how they are getting productions how much uh, productions they are getting how they are developing technologies how far we are when compared to the other countries so around one hectare of plants they are getting 6250 kg even though we have Plenty of place, we are, we are getting less production. Even though they have a very less spaces, less under cultivation of land, their production is very, very high. Their production is very, very high. That's why they are already developed countries. So, in our country, so the illiterate people will do agriculture. So if you fail, if you not study, then you are qualified to do the agriculture. This is not correct. So if you go to Australia, if you go to Israel, if you go to Japan, if you want to do agriculture, you must pass in degree. The qualification is degree to do the agriculture. This is the difference between other countries and our countries. Farmer, they don't know which seed is qualified, quality seeds, how much pesticides they used, which land is suitable for which crops, they don't know properly. Scientist has to give the information. They have to do experiment on the soil, they have to do the experiment on the environments, waters, everything they have to do and has to provide everything for the farms. That's why we are lagging in production because of lack of knowledge. Lack of illiterate people they are doing agriculture. So we have so much, we have so much like madalu. There are if you have a land, the plenty of lands. We can see the wastelands mostly. But there are gutlundi, chala palala gutlundi. But if you go to other countries, 10 acres of lands, 100 acres of lands, 1000 acres of lands, they have, there is no guts, there is no space between one acre to another acre. In that waste land also, they will cultivate the crops. So, mostly, you know, so much land is occupied in this. That's why you have to do all this. So, educated people is required to do this agriculture. Then only our country will develop. Okay, students. So, today, homework I have given production of paddy. You have to do that activity, you have to get the information. And the next one is country, land and cultivations, total production is million hectares, production for area, you have to write this table also. okay?